The Nigerian judiciary has again come under scrutiny for its role in allowing corruption to fester. Some senior lawyers say for the third arm of government to take its rightful place, then the subbold the bar and the bench must show courage to play their part. These submissions were shared at a session organized by the MBA section on public interest and development law at the MBA annual conference. Our correspondent Babaji Deli reports. It's another day at the gathering of members of the Nigerian Bar Association at its 2022 conference. This breakout session put together by the Section on Public Interest and Development Law witnessed some prominent members of the bar would discuss the consequences of undermining the judiciary under the country's democracy. It's not possible for a senior advocate today to have his case in court for five years. No, unless he wants to do so. Because when we get to court under Section 6 of the Legal Practitioners Act, a senior advocate of Nigeria shall have his case mentioned out of turn if it is listed for mention today. Get to the court. Nine o'clock. You call the case of the first SCN. By 10 30, the second SCN. By 12 o'clock, the third SCN. By 2 o'clock, that's the end of the day. We can't go on like this, gentlemen. How can you have a system that incrementally has higher number of persons who you have not determined whether they are right or wrong? Yet the law says you should deem them innocent until proven otherwise. But they are there, not one day, not two days. They are there some 10 years, 5 years, 8 years, 21 years, 24 years. These are human beings whose lives have been truncated for a time. While some of the panelists accuse the government and politicians of undermining the judiciary, others believe more of the blame should be on the judiciary. My personal thoughts, you know, um, is that the branch of government that undermines the judicial process more in Nigeria is not the executive, it's not the legislature, it's the judicial branch of government. There it takes two to tango. That's right. If the judge does not, and the lawyer does not give, then corruption that we be in the judiciary, we should wipe out corrupt. We must defeat it because before corruption kills you, kills all of us. We must move forward. Not only talking every year, we must now move forward. The prison, the congestion must be real. The issue of ensuring that uh, quick dispensation of justice also must be real. Issue of uh, of judges, we must refine the sector, especially the recruitment process, to get the best hands to be in the judiciary. The consensus here is that if the judiciary cannot exercise its authority, then it remains on the mind. But the message that resonates here is that it is time to take action strong institutions to entrench democracy. Babajideli, Silverbird News 24, Lagos.